What's up guys, it's Pete Moss and Monkey Boo here and this is my weekly vlog show and this is going to be an entertaining one. I think you guys will like this. It's got a little bit of Torment Tuesdays to it. It's got a disgusting Monkey Child Challenge and we're going to see if I can set my own time on personal record of 25 poker chips at the end. Alright, been a pretty interesting week. Um, you know, I'm a guy I watch a lot of ESPN. Holy shit, LeBron, make a decision. Obviously, I want LeBron to come to the Lakers. I'm not a big LeBron fan, but you know, Kobe's going to retire in a couple years. I would like to see the Lakers get Carmelo Anthony and LeBron, keep Paul Gasol there, and Steve Nash come back healthy at 45 years old, however old he is, and be the point guard. And that'd be a really nasty starting lineup. But what's funny is Cleveland's really got their hopes up. You know, it would be kind of funny, no, no offense to Cleveland, but what if LeBron's thinking about, you know, the old boy was doing his mom from the team, one of the other players doing his mom, and nobody in Cleveland told him about it. And he cold left y'all, and he seen y'all burn the jerseys, and you know, the owner of the Cleveland team talked so much shit about LeBron. You know, maybe LeBron's just getting their hopes up for nothing. What if he's sitting back, what if he's just doing a dick move, <laughs> so to speak? You know, like, where do you think he's gonna end up? I'd like to see him with the Lakers. He can end up back with Miami. Chris Bosh is not the big three. If you guys have played NBA 2K, or you really follow basketball, the big three was Ray Allen, LeBron, and Dwayne Wade. Personally, I'd like to see LeBron going to the Lakers, and then after you know a couple years when they win a couple championships, Kobe can retire, and they can keep building around LeBron. Come on to the Lakers, LeBron. LeBron, go to the Lakers. Probably won't happen, but maybe they'll get Carmelo Kamar Anthony. So that's what's going on this week. All right, so let's get to this week's funness. All right, what led up to Squall getting beat in Torment Tuesday? Here's a link to that video if you didn't see it. Yes, I beat him like Kunta Kente with a condom and a string tied to it with ranch dressing. But it was because of a couple things he did to me this week, catching me off guard. All right, first thing he did was this ruthless, nasty, disgusting, vile thing. Sorry, sorry, quit, 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 quit. Yes, his fucking sock touched my face. That's why I hit him with a con. What we got here? It's the plunger. Hey, I just talked to Todd. He's. Man, I was thinking. I will kick your ass. It's just a fucking plunger, man. Let me touch you, you with that. If you that fucking touches my face, I will kill you. <laughs> if it touches you, man. Look. Ooh, you're touching it now. Ooh, man, you're gross. I'm going to break your leg. All right, that's it. I'll get some stuff in the leg. Oh. I'm telling you. Can I? If you touch me with that, yeah, I will injure I will Really? A fucking plunger? Who, who the fuck does something like that? You can't fucking touch somebody with a goddamn plunger. You fucking can't do that. Squaw, I'm Pete Moss, bitch. Like, really? You're gonna fucking touch me with a, a plunger? Like, I seriously considered breaking his leg. I don't know if you heard me say that. Like, I'm gonna have to break your leg. I was seriously considering breaking his leg. Like, I'm tempted to just, like, stick that plunger over his mouth while he's asleep and seriously, like, plunge out his esophagus and like I will laugh and be like, it's told me Judy bitch. Alright, so if you guys may have seen in a video a while back, I did my monkey chow challenge. That's some canned monkey food that somebody sent to Monkey Boo and in the video I did, Monkey Boo would not even eat it. I tried it, I immediately had to spit it out. Like I just couldn't do it. So Squaw took the monkey chow challenge. Let's see how it worked out for him. Alright, here we have some Zupreme Primate Diet in a can. This one may even been discounted. It's got a little dent in it from a little scratching dent sale at the monkey store. Uh, no, actually, I have a bunch of cans of this. This is the second monkey challenge. Me and Monkey Boo, if you see here in the cage hanging out, we did the monkey chow challenge together. Um, Boo wouldn't even put it in his mouth, and I couldn't swallow any. But tonight, Squall is going to do the monkey chow challenge. Number two, second person. He's going to open it up. I want to see his facial reaction when he opens it. We've got two spoons here. We're going to see if Boo will take a little taste of it tonight. If 
if you makes it, you guys can go follow him on Twitter at I am Squall. It's like freaking... Smell it. <laughs> you bad move, man. Just get us a little it sniff. It seriously looks like red beans and rice with a baby shit. Let's have a look at it. A no. baby has shit right here into this can. That's horrible. We'll see if Boo eats on. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, it's packed in there. But you could eat that freaking can for a while. He eats a lot of food, but... Oh, it's got a consistency of freaking liver bus or something. <laughs> Try some, man. Is he eating it? Yeah, he's eating it. Boo, he's eating monkey chow. Holy shit, boo. Boo says it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright, All right, your turn. Boo has the boo eats very good. Boo eats cheeses. You <laughs> Why did I smell it? But, hey, as hell. Sauce he, it up. As, as, okay. he's getting, all right, he's getting some sauce. You're not getting stubs? Nah, all right, you got him some. I literally don't put this shit on everything. He's got him some, te My he's got him some Texas Pete. He's going to try on it. All right, yes, what does it smell screw, like? Screw Frank, describe, Texas Pete. describe what it smells like. Like I did it without anything on it. With some Stubbs barbecue sauce, that would be really good. Man, I know you smell dog food in the can. It's got the te I mean, it's got the texture of sometimes when Boo takes it's a like shit. It's like some corned beef hash or something. Sometimes when it's Boo takes a shit, shit, that is the texture of it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fucking spoon of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Why did you fucking eat so much? God damn! Oh my gosh! Don't do this at home. God damn. I went that bad. <laughs> try, try to do it again. It's stuck in my teeth, man. It got stuck in my tooth. While it's still in your teeth, try to take another bite. For real, real quick. <laughs> Do it one time. Take one more bite. Come on. Man, it's not it out my nose. <laughs> Freaking birds, man. Oh, God. Push out my face, dude. Oh. Boo, did you see that crazy shit? Come on, man. Take another bite. No. Good. That's horrible. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Uh, he threw up into his mouth. What really got me is he put Tabasco sauce on it, and like I didn't put nothing on it. Boo actually ate a little bit of it this time. I was kind of surprised. But what was freaking hilarious is the freaking size of this this bite that he took. That was a big bite. <laughs> the Tabasco sauce. There was a lot of it on it. It could have got to him, but that was pretty fucking hilarious. He actually got really pale white for a minute. And I didn't notice that till after that. When he came out of the bathroom, he was looking kind of sick there. Um, that was hilarious. If you seen last week, I took 23 of these bicycle poker chips. I flipped them off elbow, caught them first try. He was my witness. This week, I'm going to try to tie my personal best. There's 25 of them here. Come over here in the light so we can see really good. But as you see, these are all just stacked chips. Five in each stack. All right, so we're going to stack them up. All right, so... On my elbow, 25 chips. So what's interesting about this, doing this, uh, it's like as wide as my hand. Maybe about exactly the same way. My hand might be slightly wider. It takes a perfect catch, perfect catch. So if I catch 25 this week, I'll go for like 27 next week. So let's just see how 25 works out. Squall, what do you think is gonna happen here? Fail. And Pete Moss, bitches, what do you guys think? Yes or no? No. Be honest in the comments. Did you think I was going to catch all 25 of these in one attempt? I'm telling you right now, don't doubt. Don't hit me with those, man. Turn it away. Yeah, quit, quit, dude. No, Hold not on. that way. <laughs> you can't have me moving around and stuff. All right, here we go. Point that way. <laughs> well, I'm going to catch them. It don't matter which way I'm going. Whatever, dude. I want a good angle of it. Tell them, Lucy, my daddy's going to catch it. They're about to go all over. This is a really big stack of chips. Up here. Heads up, boo. Oh, Snatcherunski. 
25 bicycle poker chips. That's got to be a freaking world record. Like, yeah. what is, what is, somebody, somebody Google it. Look, at, they're, all glued, they're all glued together. <laughs> no, they're not. 25 of them. You know, I can do it again. I can do it again right now. I'll do it again. That's how I roll. <laughs> can you do it two times in a row? You know what? I just happen to have an extra one here. 26 of them. 26. Ooh. Wow! Broke the record. We have a new record. Twenty-six. Can you beat his record? I can send him back down for you too. Oh yeah. If you can, if you, like for real, if you have some poker chips or some pennies, like see how many pennies you can do. Maybe next week I'll see how many pennies I can do. I just did twenty-six poker chips. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. All right. So this is the Pete Moss vlog. Follow me on Twitter at the Pete Moss Show. Hit the like button, and I'll be trying to do one of these videos every Thursday. And make sure you check out Torment Tuesdays. There'll be more of them coming. And also check out Monkey Boo Channel. Links in the description and annotations right here. Go check it out. I'll see you guys next week.